Hey guys, if you like this video, please check out my other ones in the description below. Don't forget to tickle that like button and subscribe for more. Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. Um, today, we are actually going to be playing Robocraft. Um, I've played this for, as you guys can see, about 54 hours. Um, I'm not very good at it, but it's a lot of fun, and I thought I would take you guys along for the ride. So, I figure, A, what we'll do first is we'll make a new kind of thing, and I'll show you guys what this is. It's kind of like Minecraft meets Legos meets BattleBots. It's a lot of fun. Um, so what we'll do is we'll make a robot first, and then we'll go do a couple team death matches. Sound good? All right. Three, two. One, go. Do a little intro, log in through Steam. So this game is actually really cool. As you guys can see already, um, I'm going to do Remind Me Later. It's so whatever. As you guys can see, you can come up with any kind of um, robot, in a sense. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Just wait. Are you waiting? Alright, wait a little longer. Rust it back. Let's go. Anything good? Alright, so after every online match, you'll get like a grading, and based off of that grading, you'll get like rusty, which is like the, the worst of the low, and then you'll get like silver, gold, platinum, and then some purple one I don't know how to pronounce properly. Um, we'll collect items and use those items to create something along the lines like this. So we're going to dismantle. And we're going to start a new one. So play, edit robot. So let's get started. So this is the arena where you can go and create whatever your heart desires. And then you shoot these little blocks out like this. So to create your ship of some sort. I don't know. I really like this game. I think it's really fun, and I think it's a great idea, and it's gone a lot of places, so let's keep going. See you guys in a bit. Uh, Alright guys, so, haven't showed you yet, but this is our masterpiece. Take a look at it, read it and weep. It's beautiful. So, write down in the comments what your name, what you think the name of it should be. But, the cool thing about this is that you have all these guns and, and hover shit and shields and stuff like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and test it out real quick. Um, this is kind of like the train yard, or training yard, um, get to see how bad I am at using a uh, keyboard and mouse. Um, there's going to be a lot of button smashing. Uh, so, waiting for Team Deathmatch Battle. Oh, wow, we found one. Hey, there I am. <laughs> Alright, we joined in. So here's really cool because you get to see everyone else's um, everyone else's ideas that they came up with. I didn't I didn't paint mine because I'm lazy. There's another one, Varsuvius. Varsuvius. This is team death oh, match. another one. The enemy team cool. To win. But these are the like that guy's a tank right now. Um, and these guys are small little guys, hovers, kind of like me. Hey, he's flying as well. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, oh shit, they are all right here. And I'm gonna go the other way, because I don't want to die. But another cool thing is, is the bottom left is the health bar, and it'll slowly start to regenerate, and you'll slowly start to get all your stuff back. Um, 
the object of the game is of course to get the most kills but you can also damage people's ships and take out their guns so that way they can't just uh, can't deal damage to the rest of your guys but you have to be quick with um see they just blow out his legs and then you kind of take off the rest and kill him just like that um, and here's another one and you also have a time limit with how quickly you can shoot which is also super annoying and I'm flying away and I'm about to die yep I got blown up but if you saw there that my ship started to chip away and I started to lose parts um, that's because you're getting dealt damage and it's very much um, the the fun aspect is being able to make your own uh, ships and stuff like that and being able to also make ships that can take damage and still fly or still move around and, and still operate properly and then you also have guys like this which you see has a blue laser who's right now he's kind of healing me um, so it's it's very much uh, team team like it's very much team op, uh, team heavy I guess is the word I'm trying to say um, yeah so let's go ahead and get right into it oh god there's a lot of people over here and of course he has a laser beam that can track If you're wondering why other people's, like, their ships are a lot smaller, to be honest, I don't understand how th that works. Because, for instance, I played with one of my friends, and my ship looks huge compared to most people's ships. But then, like, I was playing with him, and he goes, dude, you always make the smallest vehicles. And I'm like, well, what are you talking about? My, my ship's huge. And he goes, no, your ship's not. And he sent me over a screenshot of what my ship looked like, and my ship was like super, super tiny. So that that again is very like it's confusing because like I don't know the hitbox might be different or however they do things. It's just I don't know. Um, again, that shush, Davakov. Shush, dick dude took my kill again. That guy's getting a lot of kills. Oh, that's why he has one of those heavy duty shotgun things. Um, uh, what the fuck was that? They also have like rare items and, and, and uh, ultra rare items that you can get. I, I don't quite know the classification of it. Thank you, dude. Big help. Oh, look at that. The crowd dude is walking on the wall again. <laughs> Uh, push too far in. <laughs> so yeah, leave a like if you guys think that you'll enjoy playing this game. Uh, try downloading it. off. Of, I downloaded it off of Steam. Um, when I did, it was free. Um, by, all, by no means am I telling you to go out and spend money, especially your parents' money. They, they won't like that. Trust me. Um... Stole that kill and see if I can get away alive. Eh, I don't think I can. 42 health. Eh, oh, sweet. That guy. That guy. Come heal me. Thank you, dude. <laughs> Saved my butt so many times. And um, the cool thing is, is that, for, for instance, I only have two types of guns right now. I have my heavy-duty assault guns, and then I have my light-duty um lightweight guns um, but they also have snipers, they have shotguns um, they have heat seeking or tracking ones I wouldn't 
I guess you wouldn't call it heat seeking since they're robots, but um, tracking ones that are pretty good. Um, oh shit, I'm gonna die. I am definitely dead. Oh my god, how am I not dead? Dude, heal, dude, heal, dude, yeah! Ah. <laughs> Alright, yo, buddy. Um, but if you have, like I was saying, if you have a lot of heavy duty guns, um, of course it's gonna use up more energy, which means, hey, I leveled up. Did we win? Oh wow, we won. Sweet. All right, 12, five, and four. So as soon as they push okay, we're gonna get a ranking and they're gonna give us like a, a box based off of that. And we can do an opening then. Um, but yeah, they use up a lot of energy. Ooh, the protinium. That's the one that I can't pronounce very well. So let's go ahead and open it and see what we get. We got a rare. Oh, we got an epic. Then we got a stupid little tank wheel. But the cool thing about getting these is that you can eventually, like under editing, um, you can sell them. Uh, this is just me leveling up. The cool thing about those is that you can sell them to get more parts. So like you get, um, sent me a request, uh, check, I guess. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, okay, so you get those and then you can go under recycle and so you have these costs and how much you own right then and there and then you can sell them back so that way you can buy bigger and better items for like let's say if you wanted like this gun well that's a lot of money so you're gonna have to do a lot of recycling but since like for instance we just got this one you could sell that and then we also got this one which is four thousand uh, which you can sell that but the most annoying thing to me about this game is that a you can't test the product so it's like you're buying something that you don't know what will or will not work so like my, my biggest complaint I guess I have is that under Forge, like if you go over here and you look at the wolf leg, it's 10,000. 10, okay, well, there's no way for you to see if that's, like for instance, if I wanted to buy a shield, one of these things, and I want to know if it can fit on my, my rig that I have right now, the only way for me to know is if I spend 32,500 and buy the thing, test it, and if it doesn't work, then I have to resell it b back to like half the profit, which is annoying. They don't have like a test or an ability to see like how big the item is, because a lot of the a lot of like these guns are a lot bigger than what they what they look like. So, yeah. Um, so that's. That's Robocraft for you. Um, I really enjoy this game. You guys download it. You guys tell me in the description or in the comment section what you guys think about it. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. And don't forget, may the stars be with you, my friends. Bye. Hey, how's it going, guys? I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you did, feel free to hit that subscribe button and check out some of my other video game plays. And don't forget, guys, and stars be with you, my friends. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.